Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Yay! Maybe you're just not even on YouTube and you're watching me from Facebook or Instagram. Um, but it doesn't matter, I'm happy regardless. So thank you so much for being here. Subscribe, like, share with your friends or don't. It <laughs> it's fine. On today's video, I'm gonna make this eye look focusing on blue eyeshadow. I've never done that before and I don't know how it's blue going to work with my green eyes, but just for the fun of it, okay? <laughs> And for a foundation, I'm gonna skip that part um, because I think it's very boring. Just to let you know, I'm using Milani Conceal and Perfect Foundation 2-in-1 together with the Pro Foundation Mixer from NYX. Um, I'll mix these two just to find my right shade. And yeah, just hang on tight and stay with me and yep, just jump into the video. Okay, so foundation is done, we're baking, setting, contour. Yeah, we're, we're good to go on. <laughs> For contour, I used the Zoeva Contour Spectrum Palette. It's really handy, you have a cool tone and a warm tone. So in winter, or like, first I begin with this one, then I add a bit of this one. It's perfect, this is a really nice highlight, and this one is a setting powder. I'm not all the way there for, um, this is a bit of brightening actually, maybe in the end we just like put a little bit on when our foundation, when our makeup is completely done, okay? Besides, because I know that this Milani Conceal and Perfect foundation, it's quite um, heavy uh, and a bit dry, I and I was snowboarding this weekend, so I'm definitely, my skin is definitely dry. Um, I use this Tatcha Gold Camellia Beauty Oil. It has like gold flakes in it and it's super nice like super moisturizing. You can put it all over your face, even sometimes in your cuticles. It's really nice. For lips, I used the uh, Jeffree Star Velour Lip Scrub in Pink Lemonade. This is so nice. I could take a little bit and rub it on my lips and then, um, oops, <laughs> you can eat it because it's okay. Then I moisturized with my Clarins, the Moisture Replenishing Lip Balm with Essential Rose Wax. Anyways, long name, it's just like a beauty lip balm and I really love it anyways. And for um, concealer, I used my Insta Age Rewind from Maybelline. This one is really inexpensive and beautiful color. Um, you, did, you do need to set it because I find that it creases a little bit. But yeah, and then I just set it with this um, kind of cheap powder that I found somewhere, but has a nice color. <laughs> loose powder, it's called Collection Sheer Loose Powder. But my point is that it looks like this inside. So it's like skin color and not like white flashbacky color. So I found this one that has a nice color and I really like it, so just look for something similar. Yeah, so let me zoom you guys in and start on my brows. <laughs> so we comb them up, like so. Today we're gonna go for I have brows type of brows, okay? Like brows, brows. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna use this pomade from Anastasia Beverly Hills. And then I like to start defining the bottom arch and with whatever is left on the brush I come more to the front of the brow and with whatever is left I start defining the top arch as well where I want it to be okay and any mistakes that you make or anything that you're not satisfied with don't forget, there is concealer, and that's what we do. <laughs> In the end, we just go with a little brush and we like conceal the imperfections, make them stand out like popping. Okay, I start making like little hair like motions and strokes. So you see, it starts getting there. And then with whatever is left on the brush, I just fake that I have a really nice beginning of my brow. Then we do the same on the other brow, and then we carve them out with concealer. I'll be right back for the concealer part, okay? I went ahead and primed my eyelids with the Soft Ochre Pro Longwear Paint Pot by MAC. Yes, I'm reading. So now let's carve out our brows. So I'm now going to use the Flat Definer by Sigma E15. Looks like this, and it's super nice to like carve out your brows. So just dip into your Soft Ochre a little bit, and let's start defining our brows. This process just makes them look like real sharp and pretty. Mm. 
Huh, okay. Let's grab a fluffy brush and disperse a little bit of this aqua color right here. And the more you like fade it out, the more beautiful and pull is going to be when all of the other colors are together. I was using this one, now let's use this one, okay? So we keep on blending like that. And now let's use a bit of a deeper shade in a more compact brush. First I like to stipple the pigment in and then I'll blend. Going back with the other fluffier brush and just blend the edges. We can add a little bit of black first next to the lash line because that's gonna be always where we want the darkest part of the eye to be like so and then drag it into the outer V and lightly blend lash line first and then now we can mix some of the blue so we bring blue back but it is definitely getting there already gives you that dimension over there and now let me carve out this eye because i want to put that glitter so bad okay so for carving out the eye i'm gonna go with something tiny and a bit more round and synthetic something more like that again with mac paint pot something like this let's take a bit more okay we take this shadow insurance from Too Faced and let's put the glitter I'm gonna use the Too Faced glitter as well this one is in glittery reflex of blue as well same flat brush Oh, so pretty. Just add more and more and more until we're happy. And then we'll blend that middle part there. I'll get this process going on the other eye and I'll be right back, okay? Okay, so meanwhile my camera died. Yay! <laughs> Update on the situation. I did kind of a cut crease, which is super mermaidy kind of glitter to this part and I did this eyeliner I smoked out the lower lash line and I put white pencil in my waterline and I highlighted a little bit of my brow bone too and this is what we're looking at mm -hmm. okay so let's remove this remove our picking move away any of the glitter that might have fallen so now Let's get some color on these cheeks. I'm gonna take the peach color. Let's add on this Misha. This is actually an eyeshadow, but it really works so nicely as like, like this shimmer overall blushing highlight situation. It makes your cheeks really stand out and pop. And let me go back to that Zoeva palette and use the highlight on it. I'm gonna use my highlight brush. It's a Morphe R36. And back onto that palette, the white one. And. Oof. Yes, baby. For lips, I'm gonna have this. I don't know, let's see if it works. It's kind of a nude combination. First, I'm gonna line my lips with Strip Down by MAC. Then, I'm gonna go with this Ofra. Staten Island long-lasting liquid lipstick. It has like this very cool color. Did you see that? I'm taking a bit of that MAC Pro Longwear and just guys by mistake <laughs> since I'm letting my lips dry I have some extra time take the cool contour shade just a tiny bit and let's 
contour my nose a little bit. Hmm. Tiny nose. <laughs> For mascara, I've been really loving this Tartiest by Tarte. I mean, this is obviously just the um, sample size. So cute. Works amazing. I don't know if the full size is like this, but if it is, it's on my list for next things to buy. Do you guys have that list? Like, or is it just me? I love this mascara on a day that I'm not using eyeliner because it is really black and it darkens the roots quite a lot. So now that my lips are almost dry, let's put some Fenty Beauté. This was Rihanna's first lip gloss. Gloss bomb, is it? I don't know anymore. I don't know where would you wear this makeup um, to, but uh, we're done, guys. What do you think of this look? personally like the brows so much the eye is really different with the fact that this shimmer is insane in real life the lips are so chocolatey it's definitely like very different if you're not subscribed yet please subscribe to my youtube channel check me out on instagram my name is miss sara silveira with all the s's that i'm entitled to <laughs> i hope you have a nice day and see you on the next one Bye guys, see you.